Hello, in this session we're going to briefly talk about expressions and API functionality that uh, can help you enhance your subassemblies in SubAssembly Composer. So first off, the expressions. Um, we looked at some expressions early on in building some of these subassemblies, uh, but they're used within the SubAssembly Composer properties. So they allow you to put in a mathematical formula, um, to kind of help you set a property value um, based on that equation. Uh, so typically they're used in the properties of geometry elements. So in this example, the switch example, uses an expression to tell it if the switch and if the type equals a certain type. So for example, um, if we want to display one valley gutter over the other valley gutter, we can tell it type equals b2 or d2 or e2 as shown in this example and the subassembly will then utilize those parameters so it's a simple way of using expressions uh, but a very effective way in some of the complex subassemblies so it's, a, it's an expression editor very simple key in, in text um, and it's found in the properties of your pkt file Expressions take it a little bit further. So most of the expressions, uh, the one we just showed was fairly simple. Most of the expressions are built on the standard math functions, um, the MSDN math class .NET framework. Um, so there's constant static methods. And in there, and I'll give you the, the link to that, but in there you can see all the different types of functionalities and operations that you can use within your expressions. And then API functions. So you can use the .NET API to extend the functionality. I have a lot of different ones in here. The most common ones that you will use are, are Surface, auxiliary points, auxiliary links, um, other API functions such as elevation. Um, so elevation targeting, uh, width targeting, so offset or width targeting. Um, and then uh, one of the more utilized ones. One of the most common ones is decision making. So you can use your API function examples um, for say a cut and fill decision um, or any of those decision makings to utilize certain aspects of your subassembly. Um, but you can then you can add on your expressions, you can add on your API functions. So if something out of the box doesn't quite cut it, doesn't work, you can always look to further extend the capabilities and the functionalities within subassembly composer just to take your subassemblies to that next step that next level